Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you've watched all of my videos, I am so thankful that you have decided to click on this one. It's been a little time since I've done a video, so I do have a few updates. But before we get into any of that, I want to remind you that I have a current subscribers giveaway going on that has about a week left. Make sure that you go over and watch that video, enter that giveaway, and join my crazy little family that's growing. I am loving doing this. It really, really puts a smile on my face to read all those amazing stories that you are sharing with me, and I can't wait to just continue getting to know you guys. When you interact with me in the comments, I definitely remember that is just part of the things that I do as a teacher. And I am really, really excited to continue to grow this community. Uh, so I wanted to give a little back, make sure that you go and look at that because when the giveaway is over, I get to use my item that I bought. So I'm really excited uh, to do that. I will be announcing the winner live. I will post a live schedule of when I'm going to be going live so that you can make sure you tune in and see that wheel spin and see if you end up winning. But what is this video about today? There is this huge craze going on around the Labubu monster charms, right? So I have a huge craze for myself. I have not been able to get over my new upside down, inside out, never full. I am just absolutely obsessed with that bag. I keep switching out of it because I want to use everything else, but I keep switching right back into it. <laughs> uh, so recently I spent some time over in Oregon. I am from California, but my sister, who I love to death, lives in Oregon. So I have gone to visit her quite a few times during her time living there, but she is going to be moving out of Oregon soon and I wanted to take the opportunity to take my daughter uh, to Halloween Town which is in St. Helens, Oregon. If you watch the Halloween Town movies you know if you haven't I mean where are you? Uh, it is Halloween. You need to go and watch those movies. <laughs> um, so Halloween Town was filmed in St. Helens. Also parts of Twilight were filmed in St. Helens. So we went over and we explored St. Helens. I brought quite a few bags with me to enjoy. One of those being my traditional uh, classic Neverfull in the Damiera bean print. Um, so I was out of my Neverfull for quite a few days and um, now I really want back in. When I got back from Oregon, I switched into this bag that I got from Candy because I have not used it. Um, so this was the first time that I was using it. Unfortunately, it does have um, a very strong perfume-like smell. Uh, Candy did say that, and usually I don't mind uh, like scent as long as it's not like a gross scent. Uh, perfume scents usually don't bother me, but for some reason this one is giving me a little bit of a headache, and I think it's because of the way that the bag carries. So when I wear it across the shoulder, the strap, uh, is really close um, and the, the strap actually also has a strong perfume smell. So I'm getting the fumes from the bag and it is causing me to get, get a little bit of a headache, which again, usually not a problem. This is definitely something that can be disclosed. Um, and again, it's just uh, part of me. I uh, thought I would be okay with it because I always am, but it's not quite working out. So I did purchase some charcoal packets. I will be putting these in the bag when they arrive. Um, if everything works out, I'll link all that below, but I definitely don't want to promote a product that I'm not sure whether or not it even works. So I am going to wait and see if that gets rid of the smell because I do like the bag. It's been awesome to carry it. Um, it has a lot of things in it. So I'm gonna be switching out of this one into my awesome upside down neverfull that I love. But I figured let's marry, let's just bring these two crazes together or three, I guess. There's that big craze with using all of the charms. I've always been up for that one. I love, 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 love bag charms. But come on, how cute are these? I am going to link uh, my video of me unboxing these. I could, I needed to have them. I, they are adorable. So I am going to stick to the green one for right now. I'm going to put this one on my Neverfull uh, because it has that gold um, on here. 
but um, I might switch this ring out for this one so that then I can also use this one with my gold bags. And I'm going to be switching into my awesome Neverfull and be talking about just kind of how that's going. I've had that Neverfull now for almost three weeks and I am so, so, so loving it. Um, I can't say enough good things about it, but there have been some things that have shown up um, from others. So let's switch right back into it. I am trying to take this out of here. <laughs> okay, so this one's out. And I actually think I'm going to leave this one hanging on here uh, because I'm not going to be switching out this one into the Neverfull. So I'm going to put this one right in front of me. And here is my amazing Inside Out Neverfull. I am just, I just love it. I love this so much. If you haven't seen my video, uh, please go watch it. I am so glad that I waited. I really wanted the one with black trim that you could get stickers on it, but I knew I was going to have to settle for a sticker. You can't get those without at least one sticker. And there weren't really any that I was like, oh God, that sticker will look amazing. Uh, so I'm glad that I went with, uh, that I waited. I mean, I had no idea this was coming, but I am so glad that things worked out the way that they did because now I have the monogram that I really love with that black trim. So before I move right into it though, before I take all the stuff out of this one and put them in this one, I do wanna talk about some of the things that showed up. So during my video, I mentioned that the bag, I still have the tags in it, I always keep them. Um, during my video, I mentioned that my bag has a little flaw that I don't consider is a flaw. And that's the pieces here at the bottom, like the way that it's sewn in. When you reverse it, um, you do get a little bit of like a lip, right? And I mentioned that in my video, uh, that it wasn't going to bother me. And it doesn't. But Candy from Candy Sweet Love for LV did purchase a bag and hers was just that lip was terrible. So I do think it's something that you do need to watch out for. Um, mine has it, but mine was minimal and I knew it wasn't going to bother me. Hers was like all around the bag and her bag was so wonky uh, that it did cause her to return it. So I just want to make sure uh, that I mentioned that. I think I just got lucky. Mine's really good, but definitely always look for... Um, for those things in the bags. I love how soft this is. I um, did not put an organizer on it. I was planning to because I don't want to damage the inside because I do want to reverse it. I have reversed it. I have used it reversed and cinched. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm protecting the inside, but I haven't gotten an organizer for it yet. I just haven't made the decision whether I want a silk one or to go back to the ones that I've always used. So I could use one of the ones that I have on my other Neverfulls, but it doesn't match. So it's just kind of, uh, it's been on the back burner for now because I do just like using it like this. The slouchiness uh, makes a big difference. I really enjoy using it all slouchy and wonderful. So without much further ado, let's switch into it. I am going to hang. I was thinking about hanging the Labubu here on the side, but I'm actually going to hang it here from the strap. I think that'll look better. And because this one has this thing here, this is what I really wanted to try. I wanted to try to hang it from here so that it doesn't flop around, right? If I hang it on the strap, it has a potential of like flopping around this way. And I don't want it to do that. So I'm, I'm going to try to hook it there and let's see how that works. So we are experimenting together. So this is a little hole here um, for you to stick your pouch through there. And yeah, I knew, I knew this was going to work. Okay. Maybe I should do it on the table in front of me. So there's a table right in front of me, but I get so close and personal. So I hope you don't mind it. You can see my, um, my white hairs, right? My ganas. Okay. So that does work. I just want to see you. I just want to show you what I did. So when I hang it right there, I just don't like the way that it flops, but it is currently going through. So I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try doing it both, putting it in there and also on the strap. So I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it too much uh, because I don't want to stretch that part out. I did talk about that in my last video, how 
the pouch look is just not for me anyway. There we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. If you have a charm, you can put your charm through the little hole. And I also put it through here, right? It's through both. So now this charm is not going to go anywhere. It's just going to hang there. actually match oh well, i don't know what to do with it it's so adorable <laughs> all right i love it um i did buy um him or her a little outfit um uh, oh how about you give me a name if you want to comment and you want to join along let's give this labubu a name um name him whatever you want and i'll pick my favorite name and then i'll talk about which one that is that would be so awesome um uh, maybe i'll put it on my community post but i think he definitely needs a name all right so i'm gonna put this in front now Okay, the way that that charm worked, I'm obsessed. I love, 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 love charms. So I love that that's in there. Back to this one. Let's take everything out. That should be fairly simple. I have my pictures, which once again, I can't wait to switch into my Louis Vuitton one that I am giving two away of. If you haven't joined that giveaway, there's still a week left. So make sure you go and you do that. I have my hand sanitizer, or like my daughter would say, my sanitizer. I'm actually not going to put this in my bag, and that is because it's kind of like very, very stinky, and um, I don't want it to really affect my bag. I don't have a place to put it. I've um, I have little tiny hand sanitizers in my catch-all. Um, my air tag. This one is going to hang on the bag. I'll see how I like it after, but I'm gonna hang it there right now. Perfect. Um, that's it for the pocket. I have my lipstick and my um, chapstick. See, this is why I need an organizer because it's just a big hot mess in there. My sunglasses. My catch-all that I've been using. This one came from Lori from... Um, Oh my God, Smiling Cats Couture. <laughs> I always forget her name because it's the Smiling Cats throws me. Uh, but this it came from Lori. I love this and I love her. You should check out her channel if you haven't. And my wallet. This is the current wallet that I am in. I've been in that one forever. <laughs> my mirror and my keys. And some tissues. And my lint roller, which once again is being washed. <laughs> so I use the lint roller a ton. So it's a reusable lint roller. So I wash it and then it has to dry before I can put it back in my bag. So this one is now empty. There is nothing in here if it's so much. Look at how clean this is. Whoever had this really took care of it. Even if it smells like laundry or uh, I really do think it's a laundry smell. But um, it is pretty strong but it doesn't smell bad, which is, right, I don't, this is why I don't mind it. I just need to get it to be a little less. And a cute Lola boo-boo. I'm gonna put this away. All right, so final results for my amazing Upside Down Neverfull. Okay, that looks adorable. I'm loving it. I'm gonna use it this way for sure. Okay. And then on the inside, it's just all nice and floppy. And I just threw everything in there. I don't need organization here. Um, as much as I want to say I do. <laughs> so I am going to leave that there. I am going to obviously wear it this way. I did not get the one with the strap. And this is how I wear my Neverfulls anyway. I just love how slouchy and, and just squishy this is. It's so amazing. If you have any questions about these bags, I know they're like the hot ticket right now. They've been just kind of all over the place. Please let me know. I don't mind doing a video or just chatting back um, in the comments. If you go and you look at the other video, you'll see that I have been writing quite a bit. I have a couple more Labubu charms going. Um, if you have the pink one and you're looking for somebody to trade with, I really do want the pink one. Um, I don't know how to tell whether or not they're legit. I've been buying them on eBay. If you know how to tell whether or not they're legit, let me know. It's not a big deal, I think. I don't know if it's a big deal or not. Um, but I don't have a Pop Mart. 
uh, store that I can go into and like actually purchase them. So um, eBay is what I have and I have one more on the way plus a little outfit for this dude. Uh, don't forget, let me know what you think I should name it. I hope that you found this video entertaining that if you have any questions about The Neverfull, you are not afraid to ask me because I would love to know your questions. And I hope that you hit that subscribe button. Join my little growing family. I am so excited to be here and I will answer all your questions. Just let me know. I'm happy to make videos, right? Questions lead to content and that's what I'm trying to do. Put that out there. So thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.